Hey, what I do, YouTube? This is your boy Diakis, and I'm doing my um, best rock metal alternative albums of 2014. 2014 has been an interesting year for um, rock metal and alternative. A lot of good stuff's come out, but, you know, there's some stuff that I don't even want to mention, but I'm going to mention it anyway. And that brings me to the dishonorable mentions. There are two albums that I found that I listened to that I found so horrible. I'm going to mention them anyway. First is The Hunting Party by Linkin Park. I couldn't even make it past track four. It was a piece of shit. The second album was The Return by Nine Point. They need to return to the old shit they used to do. And on that note, I'm going to go to the honorable mentions. Um, first honorable mention is Shine by Annette Olsen, the former lead singer of Nightwish. Second um, goes to Revel uh, the Revelation by a band, a Japanese band called Cold Rain. It wasn't a bad album, but eh, whatever. Um, the third one is In the Red by Crucified Barbara. It was a decent album. It was all right, I guess. Eh, but eh. Um, the next one is an EP by this band called S. It's called Ex Umbra and Solemn. It was a yeah, it, it, it's interesting. It didn't, it just didn't show enough of um, the new lead singer Rachel. I don't know what her name is, uh, to you know be appealing. Uh, the next album is A Thousand Horsepower by Godsmack. It was a, it was a you know a pretty solid album through and through, but eh, there are way the the better albums are on the list. The next album is Broken Crown Halo by Lacuna Coil. I don't even eh, whatever. And the last album is um, Dawn of the Brave by Von Kanto. I forgot. I even forgot that album existed. Tell you the truth, until I wrote it down and like realized it should be it should be in the in the list. But whatever, it, it, it's getting left off. But still, it's a very solid album. T check it out. Now I'm about to get into my list. As I mentioned on Facebook, it is 84 albums. So yeah, I'm probably gonna make a timeline where you can just skip through, or might I might just list them list off the um. Let's go to the first album. The first album is Crosses by Crosses. <laughs> it's it, it's an eponymous album, I guess. Uh, Crosses is a side project by uh, Deftones, Chino Moreno, Far guitarist Sean Lopez, and Chuck Doom. It was formed in 2011. The band was originated in L.A. and it's their debut album. The genre is electric rock and dark wave, something my one of my friends got me into. And my favorite songs of the album were Telepathy, Bitches Brew, The Holy Ghost, and yes, that's spelled without um, any um any vowels. Epilogue and option. Alright, let's go to the second album. Abysmal Dawn obsolescence it's their fourth album they're also from la it's american death metal it, it was a really really heavy album like most of most of the stuff i listen listen to is really really heavy or progressive or some shit like that um tracks i like were human obole ob obsolescence i think it's how you say it inanimate devouring the essence of god well that sounds uh by my demons, the inevitable, in the inevitable return to darkness. The third group is Adrenaline Mob with uh, Men of Honor. This is the second album. It's a supergroup made of members of Symphony X, Disturbed, and Twisted Sister. Um, the main genre of music they play is alternative metal and hard rock, and this album had a really interesting feel to it. It's like, I, feel, I felt like a badass listening to this album. Like, I was about to fire up with like a hot rod or some shit. Ride down the street, top down, you know, just just hair flying in the wind, even though I don't have long hair. That album is It's Dog Approved. <laughs> it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, my favorite tracks were Come On, Get Up, Feel the Adrenaline, Adrenaline and Men of Honor. Next album comes from the group Algalock from Portland, Oregon. This is their fifth album, progressive, progressive metal. 
uh, one of my friends got me into this, got me into their 2000 album. And that's why I knew about them. Um, favorite tracks on the album are Death. Birth and Death of Pillars of Creation, The Astro Dialogue, Dark Matter Gods, Those Beyond Dimensions. The next album comes from Amaranth, Massive Addictive. This is their third album. They're considered to be a Swedish-Danish band hailing from Gothenburg, Sweden, and Esberg, Denmark. And... They deal with symphonic metal as well as metalcore and power metal. Uh, my favorite tracks are Trinity and Massive Addictive. Yeah, that, that was a decent. That one. Yeah, it was a nice album. Yeah. Next album is Amberian Dawn, Magic Forest. This is their sixth album. This is their first album with their new lead singer. And I can, t I can tell you, it sounds dramatically different. They they have different styles or whatever. But it it's it's still, you know, a decent album. The um, main genre they do is symphonic neoclassical. And my favorite tracks of their album are Dance of Life, Magic Force, I'm Still Here, Memorial. I will dance with you through your darkest nights. I will follow you. I dance to the beat of longest Did I mention their finish? Not not this list, but their finish. Whatever. <laughs> um, and that was awesome too. Yeah, I know. All right, next album is one that I found really, really amazing. It's by this guy named Amnion. I, I, I hope I pronounce the guy's name right because I always butcher his name. And it's um, the album General Ream too. Uh, Amnion's a YouTuber. He's a one man band. He does all of the instruments and stuff. And this is his fourth album in two years. Um, I found out about him through, like, I was looking through Facebook, and I saw I saw somebody share his cover of The Outsider by uh, by Perfect Circle. His genre is um, experimental metal, and I say just listen to his entire album because he's he's one he's one of the many one of the few people that actually tell a story with his music or whatever. But uh, my favorite tracks. Of his album were For Miles Down, The Slagworks, General Ream, Fearless, and Reclips. Matter of fact, look at his band cap. This is his band cap and just um, listen to all his albums. in Because he has, he has them in a certain order. And if you listen to an order, you'll, you'll get the story. And he also has descriptions of... You know how what each song means. All right, next album is "Distant Satellites" by Anathema. It's their eleventh album. This band is from Liverpool, Maryside, England. They're progressive rock, atmospheric rock, symphonic rock. And my favorite tracks off the album are "The Lost Song" Part One and Two, "Dusk," "Dark is Ascending," and "Anathema." Uh, Anathema had like one of the best solos I've. I think. Possibly one of the best solos this year. Uh, that solo was amazing. All right, next band is Animals is Leader, The Joy of Motion. This band's from Washington, D.C. This is the third album. Their genres are Gent, if y'all know what that is. Anybody? Want to know what that is? It's like some. It's like it, it's it's to an extent it's hard to explain. It's like some weird sound the guitar makes. Uh, and like jank jank. It's like it's automatopoeia pretty much. Oh okay. Yeah, like Meshuggah uses it. Uh, Meshuggah. this band uses. It's like something has something to do with palm muted guitars and the way the car, the guitars are tuned or some shit like that. Yeah. But they also do instrumental metal and progressive metal. Uh, my favorite songs off the album were Cash Cade, Physical Education, Tooth and Claw, The Woven Web, and Mine Equals Spun. The next album is Arch Enemies, 
War Eternal. Arch Enemy is from House Homestead, Sweden. This is their first album with Alyssa White Blues as their lead singer because Angela Gasol became the um, stepped down as the lead singer and she became the band's manager. Um, this is their tenth album and the main genre they do is melodic death metal. The, my favorite tracks of the album were Never Never Forgive, Never Forget, War Eternal, No More Regrets, You Will Know My Name, Time Is Black. <laughs> And down to nothing. Next album is At the Gates at War with Reality. This is their first album in 19 years. Uh, this is their fifth album, and they're from Gothenburg, Sweden. They do melodic death metal, and my favorite tracks off this album were Death in the Labyrinth, At War with Reality, The Circular Ruins, Heroes and Tombs, The Conspiracy of the Blind, Order from Chaos, The Book in the Sand, The Abomination, The Head of the Hydra, and Eater of Gods. Yes, Bray Wyatt, he eats gods, you only eat worlds. What then? The next album is probably one of the weirdest things I have ever heard in my life. It's a, it comes from a group called Baby Metal, and their <laughs> album is eponymous. So, yeah. The general idea of Baby Metal, it's, it's, it's a fusion of different types of metal and the idol genres, the J Japanese idol genres. So, it's pretty much, cause the band pretty much consists of three girls. Three teenage girls and they're the dancers and they they do the J-pop singing, all the idol dancing and singing and shit. And they have their band, which is like a death metal band. So it's like a J-pop fu metal fusion. It just sounds weird. And wow. Listen, trust me. You listen to the album. Yeah, you, you listen to their album. You're gonna say, I don't know whether I like this or I hate this, but it's something you can bob your head to. It's pretty much experimental metal, as I, as, I, as I explained before. It's J-pop mixed with he he heavy metal, heavy death metal. My favorite songs of the album were Baby Metal Death, Mechatsuni, Gimme Chococo, I think, or Gimme Chocolate, I think it's called. Benet, Benitsuki Atsuki, I cannot pronounce Japanese. For No Uta, Ijame Dane Zetai. <laughs> And I'll say one more thing about uh, th one more thing about this album. It's it's when they first were you know made it over to the um, into like Europe and fucking um, America and shit. It, they just caught on like wildfire. I mean, people love them. So yeah, I love them too. All right, next album comes from Behemoth. The album is called The Satanist. It's, this is Behemoth's tenth album. Uh, Behemoth were instrumental in the Polish extreme metal scene so much they got banned from Poland and Russia as well. Reasons why? Um, there are <laughs> they do black and death metal. Oh, you okay. know, like no. not really cultism. I mean, yeah, 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 pretty much. It, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. 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 They're from Gdansk. It's, is that's probably right. Gdansk. G yeah, Gdansk, Poland. Been there. Awesome place. They have this. There, there's like one building in Gdansk that is older than this country. It's a cool town. All right. My favorite tracks on this album were "Blow Your Trumpets, Gabriel," "Fur de Venus," or "De Venus," I think. "Oro Pro Nubis," Lucifer. "Oh Father," "Oh Satan," "Oh Son." No, that's the actual... Uh, dude, they, they talk about the devil and shit in these albums, dude. <laughs> they ain't playing around. <laughs> Alright, um, the next album is 
Black Crown initiate, initiate Wreckage of the Stars. They're from Reading, Pennsylvania, and this is their debut album. They do progressive death metal, and this is like one of the best out, one of the best like progressive death metal albums I've heard this year. I've actually used one of the songs as the intro to Real Wrestling, The Malignant. But my favorite tracks of the album were The Great Mistake, The Malignant, The Human Lie Manifest, Withering Waves, The Wreckage of the Stars, and Shapes Collapse. The next um, album comes from Black Label Society, Catacombs of the Black Vatican. I never knew there was a Black Vatican, but uh, the only one I know is Italian. Well, Catacombs is right. And this is true. This is Zach Wilde's band. This is their ninth album. They specialize in groove metal, sludge, and heavy metal. Uh, my favorite tracks of the album, there are a shitload. Let me see here. My Dying Time, Angel of Mercy, and uh, Heart of Darkness, Damn the Flood, I've Gone Away, Empty Promises, Shades of Grey, not 50, uh, Dark Side of the Sun, Hell and Fire. Next album comes from Black Veil Brides, and it's called, well, it's eponymous. Or you can call it Black Veil Brides 4. Uh, Black Veil Brides is from Cincinnati, Ohio, and this is their fourth album. Uh, the genre they um, identify as is rock and roll, even though they sound more like hard rock. And my favorite songs of the album were Heart on Heart of Fire, Faithless, World of Sacrifice, Walk Away, Drag Me to the Grave, and Shattered God. Now, I have a couple of things to say about Black Veil Brides. No, they're for the last fucking time, they are not fucking seen. They just got adopted by them which is a travesty and i've noticed the band has gotten better the, with their instruments the way that um the lead singer sings and all the other shit so get the fuck off their back next album is bloodbath grand morbid funeral this is a super group um, from Stockholm, Sweden, consisting of members of Opeth, Catonia, and Paradise Lost. This is their fourth album, and they strictly do death metal. Favorite tracks of the album were Total Death Exhumed and Famine of God's Word, His Infernal Necropis Necropsy, whatever, Unite in Pain, and Grand uh, Morbid Funeral. Next album is Bounty Count with Manslaughter. This is Ice T's band and their fifth album. And they are from Ice T. Ice T, yes. Yeah, Body Count. They've been around since the, the early 80s. 90s. Early 90s, there it is. That album was great. Wow. It was a great album. Yeah. Um, it's like one of the best albums I've ever heard. Yeah, they were part of the. Uh, Man, like, one of my favorite tracks is Manslaughter. Because um, Body Count is definitely on my. Uh, you know, workout playlist. Mm -hmm. um, I got talk shit, get shot. The video was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. You had this one guy that's like, man, we don't care about numbers. Like, Drake, Drake, Drake. Bow! <laughs> this is that shot right at the beginning of the video. That shit was so Some funny. hipster bitch gets, gets got. Um, <laughs> bitch in the Pit is actually, Bitch in the Pit's one of my favorite tracks. That's a funny one. Yeah. Um, Pop Bubbles. Pretty Pop good. Pop Bubbles, that song was too stupid. In the good way. What was that song where he had the, uh, the one where he was having sex in the graveyard? Uh, fucking, uh... I think that was Black Voodoo. I think. Black Voodoo? I think. Some shit. Uh, that song was great. 99 Problems. He has, like, two... There's two different versions, the two versions of 99 yeah. Problems on there. Yeah. Uh, by the way, his version... Like, I'm... Yeah, Jay-Z... Go Wayne fuck yourself. <laughs> <Wayne Cover. laughs> um, but, uh... It was a great album. Um, like I said... Ice T still got it. Yeah, he does. Make another rap album, damn it! Somebody <laughs> need we, we need something good come out of the rap. They specialize in hard part, a hard, oh, hardcore punk, thrash, and heavy metal. As Whitey said, 
talk shit, get shot, 99 problems, body count. I like get a job. I like their. I like his inst- um, version of institutionalized 2014. That was amazing. That was pretty good. Wanna be gangster? Did I say pray for death? No, you pray for death. Pray for death, yeah. That album was amazing. Boy, like, I, w- I was expecting, like, bad things from this album, but when I heard this shit, shit was amazing. I, I expected it to be at worst eye. <clears throat> it was past eye. It was, oh, like, no, fucking I amazing. Like I said, going into it, I thought it was just going to be eye, and it turned out to be great. Twisted with the biscuit, blasted with the ratchet, jack with the mac, body with the shoddy, dump with the pump. All right, we'll move on to the next group. Uh, Cannibal Corpse with a skeletal domain. They're from Cannibal Corpse is from Buffalo, New York, and this is their thirteenth album. They're you might as well say one of the innovators of American death metal or death metal period. Um, my favorite tracks on this album are this is a funny one. High Velocity Impact Spatter. Something like sniping. Killer or Become. A Skeletal... Uh, skeletal Remainer Domain. It's one of those. And my one of my favorite tracks. Exficiate to Resuscitate. say this about Cannibal Corpse. We, we, we talked about a little this before. You said a lot of their albums sound a lot alike. Well, Cannibal Corpse is one of those bands that when you get a Cannibal Corpse album, you know what you're getting going into it. And you either love them or hate them for that. If you love them, you know, like I said, you're buying a Cannibal Corpse album, you know what you're getting. You know you're going to hear some crazy shit. And you're you going to hear the, about the rape. album artwork is going to be the goriest stuff. I even said their album artwork ain't PG unless it stands for pretty gory. That's why, see, that's why I like that's why that's see, that's why I can't stand about some of these cats these days because some people are taking this shit a little you know how can I say this um they just copying the people and they're making crappy music the crap making crappy these crap this crappy it's, I swear to God I like like. I've listened to so many damn deathcore albums and they all fucking sound the same. They it's just god awful and their album art looks is just the goriest shit. It's some bitch, some female getting like like <laughs> sawed in the vagina or some shit, some stupid shit like that. I, and and the songs are not even not don't even make sense. It's just it's just, it's, it's just like everybody wants to make a damn snuff film in the, <laughs> in, in like music form. Yes. It's just annoying. That's yeah. kind of what's been my gripe with the genre in general. It's hard to tell the good stuff from the shit. I mean, it kind of is hard unless you really, unless you're really listening, or unless you're a real connoisseur of the genre. It's really hard to tell if this is a good one or a bad one. Most of the shit, like I say, like ninety five percent of that shit is god awful. And that Sturgeon's loan, ninety percent of it was crap. Ten percent's good. Yeah, but. Then you start going into Poe's Law where you can't tell if this is in a self-parody or, or they're being legit. Let me put it like this. Like, I remember it was like, what was that one genre? Like maybe like five or six years ago where like everybody started copying. It was, like hard, it was either hardcore or fucking post-hardcore. Like every day, every, everything I saw was like post-hardcore this or post-hardcore that. Like, man, all these, all these damn people suck. I mean, they can play or... instruments, but shit, it's just, they're, they're not, the music is about nothing. It's noise. It's just crap. No, it's not, it's not even noise at that point. It's just crap. It's just shit. It's stuff that come out your ass. <laughs> but usually what happens is one band makes it big and every band has to copy it because record labels will sign any motherfucker who sounds remotely like them. Exactly. I mean, it happens all the time. Let's move on to the next one. Um, it comes from Cavalleric's uh, Conspiracy. Called the album's called Pandem- Pandemonium. Um, I think it's a super group. No, it's, no, it's formed between the uh, Nax Cavalera and Igor Ca- uh, Cavalera. This is the third album. They're from Phoenix, Arizona. They specialize in groove, thrash, and death metal. And released, it was released on um, Halloween of 2014. Um, my favorite tracks were, or are, or whatever. Uh, Babylonian Pandemonium, 
Oh, that rhymes. I didn't know that. I just, I, that's the first time I noticed that rhyme. All right. Bonsai Kamikaze. I Barbarian. Kramuhau or Apex Predator and no Randy Orton. Not Losing the Edge. Father of Hate. The Crucible. No Destiny. Deuce Ex Machina and not the video game. Does the band hear voices in their heads? That's Rep Theory. And they haven't done shit since then. <laughs> The next album comes from Chevelle, not the car. <laughs> called It's called uh, Gargola. Gargola is Spanish for gargoyle. I had to look that up myself. Um, the seventh album, and Chevelle is from Grays Lake, Illinois. Uh, they specialize in alternative, metal, and hard rock. Um, favorite tracks off the album were Ouija Board, Take Out the Gunman, Choking Game, <laughs> Sammy Zane, Under the Knife. Next album comes from Conquering Dystopia, and their name of the album is Conquering Dystopia. This is their debut album. This is one of Je Jeff Loomis's um, projects, I guess, because he's guitar. He he's also now guitarist of um, what's that band called? Arch Enemy. Uh, this band uh, specializes in progressive and death metal. You just gotta listen to the whole fucking thing because the whole thing is a fucking masterpiece. Jeff Loomis always does um, good guitar work, and this goes to show. Um, favorite tracks of the album are Prelude to Obliteration, Tethys, Ashes of, Ashes, not my own said Asses, <laughs> Ashes of Lesser Men, Doomsday Clock, In Inexhaustible Savagery, Totalian Totalitarian Spear, Lacrimos, Ata Arc, Nuclear Justice. Kufra at Dusk. Yeah, I'm not making this shit up. Resurrection in Black and Destroyer of Dreams. Alright, the next album comes from The Contortionist. And the name of the album is called Language. Uh, Contortionist is from Indianapolis. They specialize in progressive metal, deathcore, instrument no experimental metal as well uh, my favorite songs of this album were language institution language to conspire integration thrive primordial sound arise ebb and flow and parable I was wondering why um, this one site was it called? I think it was Metal Injection. You can get, or was it, was it either Metal Injection or Metal Sucks? They gave um, the Contortionists a day to run their website, and I was like, okay, this band they 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 making this band you know chopped up, seeing like they're the shit or whatever. So I I decided you know go, let me go ahead and listen to their shit. They're pretty fucking good. I ain't gonna lie about that. It 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 it, it's, it takes a couple of listens, but it get you though. All right. Next album it comes from Dark Fortress, Venereal Dawn. Love that, that album. You listen to it? Yeah. Oh yeah. They're from Lands. I'm at almost oh, almost said Landslut. Land Shut Germany. It's the seventh album. This is this rem this is more melodic than I remember their their other albums being because the other albums were just so damn dark. I mean, it was like it was like trying to go through night. <laughs> Your cell phone ain't got no battery, so can't you use flashlight? It's just. You're you're just you're just drifting, man. All right. It's like a it's like a Bray Wyatt promo. Um. Yes. Um, favorite tracks of the album were Venereal Dawn, Chrysalis. What the hell? I am the Jigsaw of a Mad God, Odom, Luciform, <laughs> and On Fever's Wings. I am a One of my potential winners of album of the year is the next album, Darkest Hour, with a, with their self-titled album, Darkest Hour. Another great album. Agreed. From Washington D.C., this is their eighth album. This is their first album with the drummer Travis Orban. He is a, he is an awesome YouTube follow him. Um, 
They specialize in melodic metalcore. This album was more metalcore than other previous offerings, but they really, you know, their first albums were more um, melodic death metal. All right. Favorite tracks of the album were Wasteland, Rapture in Exile, The Misery We Make, Infinite Eyes, Futurist, By the Starlight, The Godless Figure, Hypatia, Hypatia Rising, and Departure. The next album comes from Delane. I think that's how you pronounce it. Delane, yes. It's called The Human Contradiction. They're from, is that Zwali? Zwali, Netherlands. And this is their fifth album. It's in fine. My favorite tracks of the album were, or are, Your Body is a Battleground, Stardust, My Masquerade, Tell Me Mechanist, Army of Dolls, and Lullaby. Bring me to life. Next album on the list comes from Demon Hunter, and the, al the album is called Extremist. They're from Seattle, Washington. This is their seventh studio album. Christian Metal. Favorite tracks of the album are Artificial Light, What I'm Not, The Last One Alive, Cross to Rear, and Gasoline. Next album comes from Devil You Know, The Beauty of Destruction. This is their debut album. It's an American super group. And this is, if anybody's wondering where Howard Jones is, this is where he's at. He's at, he's in Devil You Know. Uh, they specialize in groove and metalcore. Favorite tracks are A New Beginning, Seven Years Alone, It's Over, I Am The Nothing, and Shut It Down. <laughs> Next album comes from Devin Townsend and the Devin Townsend Project. It's um, it's called Z Squared or Z Squared. This is his, <coughs> this is his ninth solo album. This al <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Um, this album is more exper it's like an experimental. It's like an album that tells a story, and this is one of the albums you have to listen to the whole thing. I remember I think there's like. Chris Jericho's on this album as well. He's like one of the voices because the second part, I think the second part of the album has um, dialogue and shit, mm -hmm. and so you, you can hear people talking. I think there's like the chick from Stolen Babies is on here, and it's, it's just, a, it's, just a, it's a, it's a, it's a nice story. <laughs> Next album is Diabolus and Musica Argia. Uh, they're from Pamplona, Navarra, Spain. It's their third album. It's symphonic metal. Um, favorite tracks on the album is From the Embers, Inner Force. Hey, From the Embers, Dolph Ziggler. Um, Inner Force, Spoilt Vampire, Mechanical Ethos, Encounter at the Kronos Maze. I think that's right. Yeah. Indigo and Healing. Next album comes from the Japanese band Deer and Gray. I think that's, I said that right. And it's called Ark or Archie. Is that Ark? Whatever. From Osaka, Japan. This is their ninth album. They remind me of a Japanese slipknot because they're just weird. But, eh, it might be an insult, but I don't care. That's what they sound like to me. Um, they, they focus in on experimental metal, death metal, and new metal. Favorite tracks of the album, please excuse my horrible Japanese pronunciations. So, Shaku, Oroko, or Uroko, my bad, Phenomenon, Cause of Fickleness, and Rinkaku. Next album comes from Down. And it is the Down 4 Part 2 um, Extended Play. Down's from um, 
Louisiana, New Orleans. And I must say, this reminds me of Swamp Metal. It's just sludgy, chunky, <laughs> heavy as hell. Heavy. I mean, it's just, it's something it's something I can imagine fucking Luke Harper coming out to. It's just, it's, to me, it's just amazing. Um, they focus on sludge metal, as I said, groove metal, southern metal, and all the other stuff. Um, I pretty much like the entire EP. Uh, I'll just name off a few songs. Steeple, Hogshead, Dog's Head. Wow. Conjure and... <laughs> I can't pronounce this. Bacchalia, Bacchalia, whatever. Next album comes from Dragon Force, Maximum yeah, Overload. Yeah. Dragon Force is from um, the UK, London. Sixth album, uh, Speed and Power Metal. Uh, my favorite tracks on the album were The Game, Symphony of the Night, The Sun is Dead, Defenders, Extraction Zone, Power and Glory, and You're Not Alone. Next album is Dust Moth. No, the artist is Death Moth, and the the EP is called Dragon's Mouth or Dragon Mouth. They're from Seattle, Washington, and I had to look up what heavy gaze was because that's the genre they're considered as. And my friend told me it was shoe gaze, which I have no idea what it is, and heavy metal. Why does that word gaze? I don't know. That's what they said on the Facebook page. I just put what they put on the Facebook page. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight that shit. All right, my favorite song, but it, it, I still love the album. Favorite songs were Cusp, Selector, Casual Friends, Months, and Redbone. Next album comes from, oh my God, I'm going to butcher this fucking name. Uh, Evelite, whatever, Evelite, Evelite, or fuck it. Um, the name of the album is called Origins. They're from Zurich, Switzerland. This is a sixth album. They focus on folk metal, uh, Celtic metal, pagan metal, and melodic death metal. That's a lot of fucking metal. Um, my favorite songs are The Nameless, From Darkness, Celt Keltos, Call of the Mountains. That's that's an amazing song. Uh, Sukelos, Viana, and The Day of Strife. Next album comes from Enthroned Sovereigns. This band's from Brussels, Belgium. Brussels, Belgium. This is their tenth album. They they specialize in black metal. Favorite tracks of the album were "Of Feathers and Flames," "Lamp of Invisible Lights." The Edge of Agony, Divine Coagulation, and Ball Alamut. <laughs> These names... Divine I'll, Coagulation? Divine Coagulation, that's the name of the freaking song, man. I'm like, what? <laughs> Alright, next album comes from Epica, The Quantum Enigma. It is, yeah, it's a great album. Six, uh, this is their sixth album. They're from the Netherlands, of course. Symphonic, symphonic metal. And my favorite songs of the album were The Second Stone, Victims of Contingency, Unchained Utopia, Chemical Insomnia, Omen, The Ghoulish Ma Malady, Canvas of Life, and The Quantum Enigma, King of Heaven, Heaven Part 2, which I think is a continuation from the first song. Why would they also they put a part two behind it? Next album comes from Exodus. Blood in, blood out. Um, they're a thrash metal band from <laughs> Richmond, California. This is their 10th album. My favorite tracks of the album were Black 13, is that, it's not like playing like, what, what's it called? Roulette, roulette. or some shit? Yeah. <laughs> black 13, always bet on black. All right. Blood in, blood out. So, a lot of gang 
Yeah, it does. Salt the Wound, which has a, I think it has an appearance from Kirk Hammett. Uh, body har- Pretty much. Body Harvest. BTK. Numb. Honor Killings. And they did an awesome cover of Angela Death by Slayer. I take it BTK is serial killer. Next album comes from Fallujah. Uh, I hope I hope I said that right. I pray I said that right. All right. It's called the the flesh prevail prevails. They're from San Francisco, California, and this is their second album. When I first heard this, I didn't think it existed, but I had to read it again, and yes, it's atmospheric death metal with touches of technical death metal. Um, this is one of these band. This is one of these albums I am so pissed off that I slept on, because it came out in in July and it's got to it probably maybe like a maybe like four days ago, and I'm really pissed that I I didn't uh whatever. Um, favorite tracks on the album. Are Starlit Path, The Night Reveals, Flesh Prevails, Levitation, along with you know, just, just listen to the whole fucking album. Jeez. Um, next album comes from Flyleaf, Between the Stars. I think this is the first out. Al- yeah, this is the first album to feature the new singer, Kristen May, which everybody is shitting on her. But whatever. Um, they, everybody wants Lacey back, but she's doing her own thing. She's living life. Let her do whatever she wants. Favorite songs of the album I'm are shitting on her because she's not Lacey. That exactly, yeah, exactly. I mean, is she just as good a singer? She has her own style. Okay, no, it's probably it too. Let, like, let me put it like this: like I think like you know, Flyleaf was a Christian band, right? But now they're like turned to like post grunge and pop, pop rock. Oh, and, that's probably the other reason they're shitting on her, too, because it's not the same sound. Yeah, that's pretty much. Um, favorite songs on the album were Set Me On Set Me on Fire, Traitor, Sober Serenade, and Thread. The next album comes from the Foo Fighters. <laughs> Sonic Highways. Um, Foo Fighters are from um, Seattle, Washington. This is their eighth studio album. And the cool thing about this album, they record each song in a different city. So, I think that's pretty cool. They, they, I think they had a documentary on, um, what's the HBO? About it? I think it was yeah. HBO. Favorite uh, tracks on the album were Something From Nothing, Congregation, What Did I Do, God As My Witness, and Subterranean. No, you can't make me change my name. You never make me change my name. Next album comes from Godflesh. The name of the album is A World Only Lit by Fire. They're from Birmingham, England, and this is their first album in 13 years. This is their seventh album as well. They specialize in industrial metal, and my favorite tracks of the album are Dead End, Shut Me Down, Life Giver, Life Taker, Curse Is All, and Imperator. Next album comes from Halcyon Way, Conquer. Um, they're from Atlanta, Georgia. This is their third album, and they specialize in progressive metal. Favorite songs are Web of Lies, Militant, Save Your Tears. Man, Save Your Tears had me in tears, literally, because the guy was like screaming, like, Save Your Tears. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> 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 that's why I had me I'm like, man, come on. I'm gonna I'm a turn to a dude. <laughs> I'm gonna pull his ass. And I'm like tea bag. I say, save your tears. <laughs> save your tears, bitch. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Like and... Pillow. I'm going in <laughs> <laughs> If that was the name of a cannibal corpse song, I'd be done. Oh, man. Don't give him ideas. I'm pretty sure that's like on the back of his mind. He's like, Boy, the pillow. I'm going to Troy. Don't bite the pillow, parentheses. I'm 
going in dry. <laughs> and like the the chorus, we no lube, no lube. <laughs> No no, 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, my God. Any fun for the receiver. It never is. And the, and the last track, and the last track is Hatred is My Cause. <laughs> Next album comes from Hell Yeah. That's the name of the band. Hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! yeah alcohol and ass. Alcohol and ass. Fuck it. Um, that's the song I remember. You wouldn't know. That's the, the song I remember. Stampede. That's that's the song I just remember off the top of my head. Yeah. Alcohol and ass. Alcohol and ass. Pour another drink in my glass. That's my shit. All right. Name the out. Al- the name of the album is f- called Blood for Blood. Um. Hell yeah! Is a supergroup made of Chad Gray from Mudvayne, who has the one of the most interesting and unique voices to metal, period. Tom Maxwell, Vinnie Paul from Damage Plan and um, Pantera, of course, and Kyle Sanders. This is their fourth album. They specialize in alternative metal, heavy metal, groove metal. And as of this album, they, re- made, they sort of made, they made a, a slight return to like a Mudvayne style sounding album, album. It doesn't sound so Southern. Favorite songs of the album are Sangre Por Sangre, Demons in the Dirt, Moth, which is pretty inspirational. Cross to Beer or Bear, Cradle of Bones, DMF, which I think stands for Dumb Motherfucker. Sounds like it. Um, Hush, Black December, and Hush Acoustic. I've been cast out this quest to push the fuck around. Blindsided and beaten, locked up and bound. I was out. I- Next album comes from Iced Earth, Plagues of Babylon. This band's from Tampa, Florida. This is their 11th album, Heavy Metal. This this album let me know that this this year in metal was like gonna be amazing. Cause Iced Earth in the beginning of the year, I mean, come the fuck on, that's amazing. Favorite track, uh, favorite tracks were are Demon Side, The Culling, Resistance, The End, and Peacemaker. They Next album comes from In Flames, Siren Charms. Um, they're a, well, they were melodic death metal, but now they made a uh, change to alternative and heavy metal. From They're from Gothenburg, Sweden. This is their 11th album. Well, one joke I made about In Flames, I call them Alice in, uh, Alice in Flames because they sort of sound like Alice in Chains because it was sort of grungy. Some of the, some of the tracks sound like grungy as hell, I'm just saying. But um, favorite songs of the album were Rusted Nail, Paralyzed, and Through Oblivion. Next album comes from In This Moment. It's called Black Widow. This is their fifth album. From They're from Los Angeles, California. I really did like this album. I like this album like way better than... I forgot what was the name. What was the name of that album? The one they had before, I think it was called Blood or some shit. Uh, but that, I didn't like that album too much. This album I really did like because I can actually get through the entire album and actually there's actually shit I want to, you know, it listen to like again. It didn't feel like too much of a chore. You no, know, this album was actually amazing. Because I'm not gonna lie, even some albums, even for bands I kind of like, some sometimes it becomes a chore listening to the whole album. Yeah. All right, favorite tracks on the album were Sex Metal Barbie, Big Bad Wolf, Sick Like Me, The Fighter, Out of Hell, which is very inspirational. Sexual Hallucination featuring the guy from Shinedown, I think. And Bloody Creature Poster Girl, which I consider uh, the anthem for alternative models. So, whatever. Are you sick like me? Next album comes from the Finnish band Insomnium. Um, that name of the album is called Shadows of the Dying Sun. This is their sixth album. They specialize in melodic death metal, doom, and progressive metal. Favorite tracks on the album, While We Sleep, Revelation, Lost Tonight, Collapsing Words, The Promethean Song.
The next album, well, extended play, comes from Invert the Idols, Manufactured Apocalypse. This is a plug. I don't care if you get mad at me. This is a plug because this, this band is from my city, Albany, Georgia. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they specialize in death metal, death core, slam, slam death metal. Favorite songs that favorite songs on the on the EP. Eviscerated in Skin, which is hilarious. Force Fed, King of Lo Locusts, and Disembowel the Deviant. <laughs> The next album comes from Job for a Cowboy, and the album is called Sun Eater. Yet again, Bray Wyatt, you've been outdone. Stop eating worlds. You need to eat bigger things. All right. They're from Glendale, Arizona. This is their fourth album. They specialize in death metal. They're one of the American, they're one of the other American um, death metal groups that are actually doing a thing this year, so I'm proud of that. Speaking of eating, listen to this shit. Favorite tracks of the album are Eating the Vision of God, Son of Nihility. Is that right? Nihility? Nihility? Okay. The Stone Cross, The Synthetic Sea, A Global Shift, The Celestial Antidote, Encircled by Mirrors, and Buried Monument. Next album comes from Judas Priest, Redeemer of Souls. This is their 17th album, and it's their first album not to feature guitarist K.K. Downing. What? Yeah, he retired in 2011. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I remember he had some medical reason. Yeah. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Judas Priest is another band. You know what you're getting when you get an album. When you get a Judas Priest album, turn it on, listen, love it, whatever. And I'm shut the boy. fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite tracks on the album are Dragonaut, Redeemer of Souls, Halls of Valhalla, Sword of Damocles, <laughs> March of the Dam, Down in Flames, Metalizer, Battle Cry, Beginning of the End. The next album comes from Killer Be Killed, which is called Killer Be Killed. Um, it's a super group formed by Dillinger Escape Plan's Greg Pusciato. Oh, man, I am butchering these names tonight. And Max Cal Cavalera. Um, this is their debut album, a focus on groove, thrash, and alternative metal. And <clears throat> my favorite tracks on the album are Wings of Feather and Wax, Face Down, Melting My Marrow, Curb Crusher, <laughs> Curb Crusher, Fire to Your Flag, and IED. Next album comes from Symphonic Mellers, Kingfisher Sky, Arms of Morpheus. They are from the Hog in the Netherlands. And this is their third album. My favorite tracks on the album are Hypnos, King of Thieves, Open Eyes, I'm Not Alone, The Morrigan, and Mercy on This Wounded Heart. The next album comes from La Riel. They are from Gummersbach, God damn, Germany. And this is their fifth album. They focus on pretty much uh, folk and Celtic rock and metal. And my favorite tracks on the album, Numbers, Falling Skies, Days Had Just Begun, Your Eyes, Running In Our Blood, Dream Within a Dream, and Black and White Second Skin Version. I like that one over the first version more. We are battle when we dream We march battle when we don't think That is everything we got. Next album comes from Machina Su Supremacy And the album's called Phantom Shadow They're from Lulia Lulia oh, Lul Yeah, Lulia, Sweden 
pretty much their unique sound comes from the use of a SID chip uh, from like Commodore 64. And they pretty much dubbed their own name for their type of genre of music called SID metal. They also focus on power metal, industrial, and heavy metal. They remind this this band reminds me of game pretty much like gamer metal. I mean like old school gaming metal. It's like you could hear the little the little keyboard or whatever the hell that whatever's making that weird noise, the SID chip or whatever in most of their songs and it, it gives it a very unique sound. It's like Nintendo metal or some shit. But favorite tracks on the album are Villains of the Story. The villains of the story. Phantom Battle, Renegades Beyond Renegades Beyond Good and Evil. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Uh, let me, I'll make a note about uh, Beyond Beyond Good and Evil. I think I think it's like how the way I discovered them or whatever because they had I think like one of the people I follow, one of the cosplayers I follow on Facebook. She posted the video and it was um her in the video cosplaying as League of Legends, the League of Legends character Jinx. That was pretty cool. She was running around the concert having a good time. It was, it was, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> Next album comes from my favorite band in the world, Machine Fucking Head, Bloodstone and Diamonds. Um, this uh, they're from Machine Head's from Oakland, California. This is their eighth album, and this is the first album to use bassist, bassist Jared Mac Mac Eatern, Mac, whatever Mac Eatern. The focus the focus of Machine Head is thrash metal. They also have been known to do alternative metal and all other kinds of metal. Pretty pretty good shit. I'm just I'm tell you right now, just go ahead and listen to the whole fucking album. Machine Head never lets the fuck down. Never, never, never. Favorite tracks on the album, Now We Die, Killers and Kings, Sell into the Black, Eyes of the Dead, Beneath the Silt, In Comes the Flood, Game Over, Imaginal Cells, and Take Me Through the Fire. <laughs> Just that album is amazing. Definitely a candidate for album of the year. Here's another ca candidate for album of the year. Macedon, Once More Around the Sun. Macedon's from Atlanta, Georgia. And this is their sixth album. They focus in on sludge and prog metal. And my favorite tracks on the album are The Motherload, High Road, Chimes at Midnight, and Ember City. Now, I want to I want to address something real quick about The Motherload. When that video came out, there there were um, you know, it had a lot of controversy due to the women in the video twerking and shit. Let me get this right. So you mean to say Mastodon can have women twerking their video, but all these other all these other genres of music can have women dancing provocatively and fucking doing all this other shit in their videos? It's bullshit. Fucking bullshit ass double standards. Y'all just need to leave that alone. Even even like one of the um one of the dancers in the video said something about something about women's rights or whatever it just shows how sometimes how backwards this fucking society is it's pretty sad but anyway if i could find if i could find the um um the message she wrote i'll i'll, I'll tag it in the video all right next album comes from mayan and uh, it's called antagonized this is their second album from the netherlands i think this band is for one of um mark jansen who's the guitarist for epica that's his side project. Symphonic Death Metal. It's a fucking amazing album. Um, let me see here. Favorite tracks on the album. Bloodline, Forfeit, Redemption, Paladins of Deceit, Devil in Disguise, Human Sacrifice, Enemies of Freedom, Freedom, which is, I wrote that song a lot. That song is amazing because it has that one line. The only thing that can stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. And it just play, replays in my mind over and over. It's a pretty good instrumental. And Capital Punishment. Next 
next album on the list is Motionless, Motionless and White Reincarnate. Motionless White is from Scranton, Pennsylvania. This is the third album. They focus on industrial metal, gothic metal, and metalcore. Uh, favorite songs in the album are Reincarnate, Puppets 3, The Grand Finale. I think that features um, Danny Filth from Cradle of Filth. Contemptress, which features Maria Brink. Break the Cycle, Wasp featuring Dessa Marie, who I have no idea who it is. And Final Dictum, I think, which sounds like a freaking, it sounds like something straight out of, um, it sounds straight agro, agro tech. I sacrifice all I've got for one more second. I give away all. Next album comes from Nervosa, Victim of Yourself. This is a trio of women from Sao Paulo, Brazil. This is their debut album, and they focus in on thrash metal. And these women can rock. <laughs> Can't even lie. Um, favorite tracks on the album Justice Be Done. Wake Up and Fight, Morbid Courage, Death, and Victim of Yourself. Next album comes from November's Doom, Bled White. It's their ninth album. They're from Chicago. They focus in on, or they perform, Doom, Death, and Gothic Metal. Favorite tracks on the album are Bled White, Just Breathe, which is a fucking amazing song. I think I think I heard a song somewhere else on um, one of the earlier albums, but I'm not too sure. The Memory Room was pretty good and Grand Circle. Just breathe, beautiful one. The next group is no longer with us. It's called The Oath with uh, an eponymous album. They are from Berlin, Ger Germany, and this is their debut album. A, um, it's a, they're a hard rock act, or and they can do heavy metal. And uh, my favorite tracks on the album are "Almost Die," "Silk Road," "Leaving Together," which <laughs> so much for that. "Black Rainbow" and "Silver," and "Silver and Dust." <laughs> Um, like I said, the band ended shortly after the album was released. I think it was a month, just like a little bit after a month after it came out. But the good news is in December of 2014, a new band called Lucifer was formed from the remnants of the Oath. So I hope they said they would release an album maybe May, April, May-ish, somewhere around there. So I'm looking forward to that album. Next is Opeth. And with the album Pale Communion, this is a this is a departure from their progressive death metal like the death metal that they we've grown so accustomed to. It's prog rock mainly. It's a, this is their eleventh album, and they are from um, Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, my favorite tracks on the album are Eternal Rains Will Come, Cusp of Eternity, if, uh, Cusp of Eternity, River, and Voice of Reason. It just goes to show the the versatility of Opeth, and they just continue to be badass. And I'm looking more forward to their next album because I think Michael Michael Achterfeld said if they come out with another album, it'll be strictly death metal. So I just can't wait for that shit. If that does come to fruition. Next album comes from Origin, Omnipresent, or a technical death metal band from Topeka, Kansas. This is their sixth album. Favorite tracks on the album are is the one minute beast song, Thrall, Fulcrum, Apex, which I think I gave to one of my characters on SmackDown. I mean, it's just a mess. It's just awesome. Uh, Manifest Desolate, the absurdity, the absurdity of what I am. Unattainable Zero, Obsolescence, and The Indiscriminate. Next 
next album is more chill than most of these albums on the list. Muse by Palafia. Palafia is from Plano, Texas. This is their debut album. And like I said, it's more upbeat. It's instrumental too. Progressive metal. But I've since, like, there's a lot of tech. It's a lot of technical. It's like a technical settings for guitars or drums and stuff. It's pretty cool. Pretty good. Nice. It's pretty nice upbeat. It's, to me, it's a real crisp, clean, positive album. Favorite songs on the album are Sweet Tea, Champagne, Aviator, Memory, Mood Swing, and Finale. Next album comes from The Pretty Reckless. It's called Going to Hell. Pretty Reckless is from The Pretty Reckless are from New York. This is their second album. And they focus in on hard rock, even though they do have some pop influences. <clears throat> um, favorite tracks on the album were Follow Me Down, Going to Hell, Sweet Things, Why'd You Bring a Shotgun to the Party, and Fucked Up World, which is an awesome song. It's a fucked up world! What do you get? Sex and love and guns light a cigarette! Next album comes from Primordial, Where Greater Men Have Fallen. This is a black metal, Celtic metal, and folk metal um, group from Scaries County, Ireland. And this is their eighth album. Favorite tracks on the album are Where Greater Men Have Fallen, Babel's Tower, Babel's Tower, Come the Flood. Hmm, funny, because we had a lot of rain over here. The Seed of Tyrants, Ghost of the... Of the con uh, Charnel House, The Alchemist Head, Born Tonight, and Wield Lightning to Split the Sun. That is an awesome name for a song. Next album comes from Rise Against the Black Market. Rise Against is from Chicago, and they perform melodic hardcore and hardcore punk music this is their seventh album i really did like i really did like this album it, i can i can um relate to a to a lot of songs especially bridges the outro to this album was pretty straight um my favorite tracks are i don't want to be here anymore tragedy time the equal terrorist to me a beautiful indifference zero visibility and bridges it's still time. We are not brave. We are not wise. We stand at the end of the longest times. Number 69 on our list is Septic Flesh Titan. This band is from. This is a symphonic metal band. Black metal band. Black metal. Black and death metal band, my bad. From Athens, Greece. This is the ninth album. And when I first heard this album. I was skeptical at first, but as time grew on and I listened to it and I was just, I was blown away by how amazing, how amazing this album was put together. One of the best symphonic death metal albums made this year, hands down. And like, the, if you get the deluxe version, the um, instrumentals and the scores are just, man, <laughs> just majestic, epic, all those grandiose, all those adjectives. <laughs> It can be used to describe this album. Uh, my favorite tracks are War in Heaven, Burn, Prototype, Dogma, Prometheus, The First Immortal. We are the Flotsters! Your faithful servants! Next album comes from Seven Dust, Time Travelers, and Bonfires. This is an alternative metal band from Atlanta, Georgia, and it's an acoustic album. Uh, my favorite tracks on the album were Bonfire, Gone, Denial, Crucified, and Black. I, lo I love the way they redid all of the, like a, a good bit of their um, already hits, but the hearing it acoustic is just like brings a you know brings forth a new dimension to each song. It's just great, and it sounds like something you would play at a camp at, at like at a campfire or a bonfire. You know, just chilling out, grilling some I don't know dogs or whatever the hell you whatever the hell you grill. Make us some s'mores and just kick back and just listen to this shit. The 
Next album is Slash's World on Fire. And pretty much Slash's band consists of Miles Candy from Alter Bridge and The Conspirators, which is that's a funny name for your your band. <laughs> just just say it, the conspirators. The conspirators. Alright. Conspirators. C O E and Spirators. Alright. They focus on heavy metal and hard rock. And like Slash's solo albums are not that bad. I I like them, cause he usually put out some bangers. Um, my favorite tracks on this album are "World on Fire," "Automatic Over Overdrive," "Beneath the Savage Sun," "Iris of the Storm," and "The Dissident." Another contender for album of the year is up next. Slipknot's five, the great chapter. Slipknot's from Des Moines, Iowa. This is their fifth album, and they focus on heavy metal and new metal. Favorite tracks on the album. Ooh, let me see here. Sarcastrophe, AOV, The Devil and I, Kill Pop, which reminds me of Vermilion, Nomadic, Skeptic, which is a tribute to Paul Gray, rest in peace, Custer. Oh, so one of the songs of the year right there, man. That song is amazing. Uh, the one that kills the least, the negative one and override. Waiting for the punishment, I know it's not my work. Next album, or extended play, comes from Soil Work, and it's the Beyond the Infinite EP. Now, if... Even though this album is Asia only, or this is on Asia only, you can go to YouTube and find it. Well, you can find a good bit of albums just by searching YouTube. <laughs> so, er, yeah, so, Story Work was a uh, melodic death metal band from Heinsborg, Hines, Sweden. And just pretty much just listen to this whole thing, even though I believe these are cuts from, um, the Living Infinite, it, it's still better than most of the shit that's put out these these days by this random Joe Smoes and shit. So, My Nerves, Your Everyday Tool, These Absent Eyes, Resisting the Current, When Sound Collides, This Is My Shit, and um, fucking for, Forever Lost in Vain. Though, it, it's a pretty good, solidly built EP, even though it's probably, you know, outtakes. Alright, uh, next album comes from Sonata Artica. Hope I pronounced that right. Pariah's Child. They're a Finnish band, and this is their eighth album. And it's their first release with um, Passy Kapin Kapinen as bassist. Sonata Artica is a power slash symphonic metal band all right favorite tracks are the wolves die young running lights which i believe is a romance song pretty cool it's pretty cool blood half a marathon man x marks the spot love and larger than life Next album comes from Sonic Syndicate, um, which is a self-titled al album. They're from Falkenberg, Sweden, and this is their fifth album. This album was more metalcore than... I'm used, more used to them being more melodic death metal, but it's way more metalcore. It's like a lot of bands that are, like, are really heavy in the metal, melodic death metal or turn to metalcore. I guess they get more exposure, which I don't mind. This and I don't, I don't know about this album. It's like I had to listen to this album like maybe like twice to realize it for the first half of the album it did not sound like a Sonic Syndicate album until I got to like I think My Revenge and then Before You Finally Break which features the lead singer of Soilwork. It's like when I finally noticed it's a Sonic Syndicate album, but 
Still an album, pretty solidly built album nonetheless. Favorite tracks are Black Hole Halo, My Revenge, and Before You Finally Break. Next album comes from Stream of Passion, which I thought was a very, um, very, very bad um, innuendo, but I realized it wasn't. Um, a War of Our Own. The members, all the members of bands from different parts of the world, so I guess that's why it's so hard for them to record. So they have members in uh, the Netherlands, I think the lead singers from Mexico, and they have members in Sweden, or member, or whatever. That's why it's so, I guess it's why it's so long between albums for them to record. I think their last album came out in 2011. So, symph they're symphonic metal, and my favorite tracks on the album are Monster, A War of Our Own, Burning Star, Exile, and Don't Let Go. In the name of fear, with... Another contender for album of the year. Oh boy, if I had to choose an album of the year, I'd probably be blowing my brains out right now because there's so many good albums this year. Uh, comes from Triptychon, Milana Chasmata. I think it's, I want to say it's Greek for depressing valley or some shit. Is it Greek? Whatever. It, it, it's, one, it's one of those crazy languages in Europe. And they are from Zurich, Switzerland. This is their second album. Avant -garde, they are avant-garde, doom, black, gothic, experimental... The videos, the videos for these albums are so fucking trippy. It's just weird. Like, I think the album, what was that? What was that? I think it was Tree of Suffocating Souls. That video was so weird. Or was it Aurora? Aurora. It's, it's, one, it's one of those. It's one of those songs, but the videos are just so trippy. But um, favorite tracks on the album are Trees of Suffocating Soul, Dubowski, Bolinsky House, Bolinskin House, whatever. Altar of Deceit, Breathing, Aurora, Demon Pact. I love Demon Pact. Uh, in the In the Sleep of In the Sleep of Death, Black Snow and Waiting. Alright, next album is Unearth, Watch as a Rule. They're from Winthrop. I think that's right. Winthrop, Massachusetts, and their metalcore band. Possibly this is like one of the, the best metalcore band, the best metalcore album this year because it's so fucking heavy and like, it's so consistent. It's consistent and heavy. It's just amazing. Right. My favorite tracks are The Swarm, Lifetime and Ruin, Gods of Contagion, Never Cease, Trail to Fire, and Watchers of Rule. But the I like the drum work for this album. I think Sick Drummer, uh, I think Sick Drummer had a couple of videos where they showed the drummer, and he has a very interesting way of um, drumming. Very technical, very tight. All right. War of Ages um, brings in the next one with Supreme Chaos. Um, they are from Erie, Pennsylvania. This is their seventh album, and they are Christian Metalcore. This is a very, it's another nice, solidly built album. I like, really like the album from start to finish. Um, favorite tracks are From Ashes, Lost in Apathy, Chaos Theory, Lionheart, and On Broken Wings. We are the face of a generation Broken Campers lay on us We are the truth of the devil Next album is like a contender for a best doom metal album of the year. Even though the lead singer left, left and I don't know what they're doing for a lead singer now. But let me get to it. Which Mountain with Mobile of Angels? Which Mountain? I shit you not, Which Mountain? Not Escape from Witch Mountain, but Witch Mountain with Mobile Angels. And they're from Portland, Oregon. It's their fourth album. Um, fortunately, the lead singer 
Uda Potkin. She left earlier in the year, and I think they don't have a lead singer. I'm not too sure, but they're still touring. So, um, this whole album was just pretty good from start to finish. Um, Psycho Amundi, Can't Settle Your Corrupt Ways, Sour the Hymn, Mobile, Mobile of Angels, The Shape Takes Truth. The, I mean, the, they're just amazing. So it's hard to be Next album comes from Within Temptation with Hydra. They are from the Netherlands, and this is their sixth sixth album. Symphonic Metal. Let me see here. Favorite tracks on the album are Let Us Burn, Dangerous, and Rerun featuring Exhibit, and the Radioactive cover. Within the Ruins comes in next with Phenomena. This is their fourth album. They're from Westfield, Massachusetts. And they focus in on technical metalcore, which I didn't know was a thing until now. Um, favorite tracks on the album are Calling Card, Hijira, Ronin, and Enigma. Enigma is amazing. I mean, there's 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 like different pop references like you can hear like the Mario theme being played on guitar and you can hear the inspector gadget theme it's crazy it's it's pretty good it, it's a pretty good song I think I used it as an ending to one of the real wrestlings if you watch that show shout out to real wrestling crew But anyway, um, <laughs> next album is another contender for album of the year. Jeez, a lot of contender for album of the year. Woven War with Woven War. Um, they're from San Diego, California. It's melodic metalcore. This band formed from the former members of As I Lay Dying since that fucker kicked them all out. And they formed with um, the singer of O Sleeper, Shane Blay. And this is their debut album. This uh, this whole album, front to end, was just it was just so different. I mean, it's like usually you hear people just screaming. The the singer is clean. That's a, that's what tripped me out. He doesn't. He, I think he only screams like once in this whole album. I think it's in Profane. But the whole the whole album, front to back, is like a good guitar album, a good drum album pretty good on fucking vocals it's just amazing the way it mixes together and everything but favorite tracks on the album are, are all rise death to rights mason the mason moving up side of shore father son profane ruin ends matter of time and profits the more that you question the more the answers are what you want to hear we album on the list is Xandria's Sacrificium. Xandria's from Bielfeld, Germany. And this is their first album with lead singer Diane Van Giersbergen. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> this is the sixth album, Symphonic Metal. My favorite tracks on the album are Sacrificium, Nightfall, Stardust, The Uncovered Land, Our Never World, and Temple of Hate. And that's pretty much the list. Um, yeah. If I had to choose an album for album of the year, I couldn't do it. <laughs> but oh, based on all these, I'd probably go with either Machine Head, A Woven War, or Fallujah. One of those albums, maybe. Or, no, I can't forget about Darkest Hours. Darkest Hour. That was a pretty straight album. I mean, you can't lose with any of these albums that I've recommended. Really. But that concludes the list. Um, AYT, you got anything to add? Rocking. You got album of the year? Yeah, Slipknot. <laughs> you like a Slipknot? Yeah, that Slipknot was pretty straight. Was great, man. Yeah, that was pretty good. So working some of these other people. 
but yeah that's concludes our list um happy new year um happy holiday and all that other good stuff um peace you